Hello Internet, I am Jared and I wanted to spend a little bit of time um, just talking about uh, Mr. Trump's um, comments that have been in the news recently that he made in 2005. And just some things that have been weighing on me um, and I've been just thinking about, about a lot and I feel like I just need to get what's in my head out verbally and into a public forum. Um, I'm not trying to make a political video. I'm not trying to convince you to vote one way or another. Um, I would like everyone to vote one way or another or another. Um, but my goal is to talk a bit about um, really just ethics and education, um, sexual assault, consent, what that is. Because um, I feel like as Americans, we don't talk about that nearly as much as we need to. Um, I will divulge a little bit about my political background. Um, since I started voting as a teenager, I have consistently voted for Democrats. Um, I do feel that the Democrat Party does not anymore fully represent the working uh, class, blue collar type of person, but I also feel neither does the Republican Party. Um, but that is a different discussion. Um, again, kind of more uh, just ethics, sexual assault, that sort of thing. Um, if you want to respond to this video with unconstructive comments. Comments have nothing to do with what I'm saying. If you're already thinking of a, of a snide response, just stop watching. Don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. It's not what this is about. All right, so the, uh, the video that came out recently, um, I look at it and I, it's very obvious to me that Mr. Trump is talking about sexually assaulting women. Um, you know, just, just look at what he said. Look at the video. Um, yeah, that's her with the gold. I've got to use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. I just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. You can do anything. And of course, the video is longer than that, but that's that's the meat. That's what everyone's really talking about is that section right there. Um, so again, I feel that it's very obvious that Mr. Trump is referring to sexual assaults and talking about it in a positive way. Um, but I read these comments um, on YouTube elsewhere, and it becomes very apparent that the internet thinks otherwise. Um, a common thing that I hear is, well, Donald Trump is saying that the women let him fondle them, so it's not sexual assault then. So that begs the question, well, what is the definition of sexual assault? Well, we have a definition for that. If you Google right now just sexual assault definition, the first thing that comes up is um, something from the U.S. Department of Justice. And uh, I'll read you that definition. It says, again, from the U.S. Department of Justice, Sexual assault is any type of sexual contact or behavior that occurs without the explicit consent of the recipient. Falling under the definition of sexual assault are sexual activities as forced sexual intercourse, forced sodomy, child molestation, incest, fondling, and attempted rape. Um, so just looking at that definition, I feel that... Um, Consent is a major keyword in that um, in 
in order for sexual assault to occur, there is no consent. And again, going back to what Donald Trump said, I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. I just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Um, he does not acquire consent before just kissing. And, um, you know, they let you do it. That is not, that is not consent, you know? And then you get into the other thing. Well, what does consent mean exactly? What's the definition for that? Well, you know, I came prepared, so I have that up here too. Um, consent, first thing that comes up in Google. Permission for something to happen or agreement to do something. Or as a verb, give permission for something to happen. So, it, it, if you go up to a woman and start kissing her without her consent, the legal definition, that is sexual assault. And from my standpoint, that seems like something that's very clear and obvious. Um, but again, internet doesn't seem to agree with me, but I think that's why we need to start talking more about this. Um, so shortly after the tape came out, there was a debate, um, and right off the bat, this was the topic that people wanted to talk about, so it did. Um, Anderson Cooper um, from CNN, I think, rightfully called out Donald Trump. Um, and again, not trying to be political about this as much as I can be, it's about presidential candidates, but um, I would expect the same thing from a Democratic um, candidate. You know, if, if Hillary Clinton had a tape about her grabbing people's dicks, I would, you know, I'd hope they would have the same, the same question. So, um, what did, what did Anderson Cooper say? Um, he said, the, um, let me, let me, here we go. You called what you said locker room banter. You described kissing women without consent grabbing their genitals. That is sexual assault. You bragged that you have sexually assaulted women. Do you understand that? Um, very to the point. Um, I felt like it was a very appropriate question. Some people don't agree with that, but um, what what Donald Trump, what Mr. Trump's response was, no, I didn't say that at all. We have them on tape, but okay. There were some ramblings about locker room talk and then ISIS, of all things. And then he said, we should get on to much more important things. And that really rubs me the wrong way. Um, more important things than sexual assaults that... <clears throat> so... That's a, that's a problem in, in our country and elsewhere. Um, RAIN, the Rape, Abuse, and Incense Network, um, Incest Network, um, estimates that one out of every six American women have been the victim of an attempted or completed rape. Um, that is a huge amount of people who are victim to a violent crime. Um, and that concerns me that it's that high. Um, in the debate, after Donald Trump's response, Anderson Cooper asked three times, three times, very point blank, um, if he has sexually assaulted women before. Now, finally, he did say no, but if I if I was a presidential candidate and that was what someone asked me, you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't they wouldn't be finished with the first question. They're like, no, that's not me. But Mr. Trump had to be asked three times before he said no. That is very concerning for myself. Um, 
really though, the, the, the videotape that came out was not very surprising for me, um, considering Mr. Trump's previous comments. Um, it's more of the reaction that the video has brought um, that I wanted to talk about and I'm worried about because what it shows me is two things. It shows me that people don't understand what sexual assault is and also people don't understand what consent is. Um, and the only way we're going to be able to fix that is to educate our youth. Um, we need to talk to our boys and our girls um, at an early age about what consent is and reinforce that on a continual basis. Um, when I was a child, I had fantastic role models in my parents. Um, I saw how they treated each other. They gave me the freedom to express myself and set my own boundaries. Um, and that's so important. What I'm seeing now, and really it's probably been this way for a while, but I'm just an adult now, so I see it. Um, but I'm sure it's been going on for a while, so I don't think that times are changing. This is just how it is, is we've got um, a large portion of our children who are seeing from their role models excuses about this being locker room behavior. Boys will be boys. Um, it's, it's not good. It's not good for, for children to, to be having role models like that. What's that going to do? Well, that's gonna, firstly, it's gonna say, um, it's gonna make young adults who don't understand how to set boundaries. You know, if you, if you got a young woman who can't set boundaries because that has never been taught to her, it doesn't matter if she has a gun to, to defend herself or not. Um, she doesn't know what her boundaries are. She knows that she's being assaulted, but she doesn't have the social skills to protect herself. And then the second thing for young adults um, who feel that minor, in quotes, minor forms of sexual assault is acceptable to perpetuate um, or to perpetrate, um, you, you end up getting young men with a sense of entitlement. And inappropriately touching is norm. You know, you're, you're at a club, you've been drinking. It's okay to go and start touching on a beautiful young lady. Um, and that's why we have rape culture. And that is a real thing that, that we have. Um, and it's, it's going, some of those people who think it's okay to fondle, some of them are going to go out and commit rapes. Um, so this has been happening for a long time. Um, but I try to stay optimistic about people in general, about the world. And, you know, I, I think that this is a really good thing. Mr. Trump is putting the topic of consent and sexual assault in the public spotlight. And we are talking about this where we, there has been very little or no discussion about it for so long. Um, so hopefully, you know, this will get some people to start thinking. Um, if you feel the same way, please talk about it to people. If you have kids, show them what consent means, what um, creating boundaries means, because that's so strong, that's going to help them become a stronger person. Um, I want to thank you for watching to the end of this video. Um, and now I kind of talked for a little while. Um, hopefully, if you feel that Mr. Trump's position on his comments from 2005 isn't too big of a deal, um, I just hope that I helped convince you to think about it a little bit more. Um, I have respect for you, no matter who you vote for. I um, think that's great that we have the opportunity to have dissenting opinions and talk about it. 